Hi, welcome to Wednesday, our third devotional. Today we are looking at Esther and her story. Um, particularly we're looking at verses or chapters five and six, um, but definitely read the whole story. It's a proper page turner, you won't regret it. Um, so Esther is um, a Jew. Um, she's one of the Jews who are still living in, in Persia in exile. Um, and she is in the position that she is chosen to be the new queen for the king of Persia at the time, who was King Xerxes. He had, in a fit of rage, got rid of his last wife, um, his last queen, ditched her because she refused to come and pose for his mates at a party, one of his drunken parties. He was a charming guy, by all accounts. Um, so he chose a new wife. And Esther managed to hide her identity as a Jew and get chosen as his wife. Um, other key characters in this story are Mordecai, who is Esther's uncle, who kind of sets her up in this position, really. He's part of getting her um, that position as queen. And Haman, who was a really quite a powerful official in Persia, who decides that because he's so powerful, that everybody should bow down to him. Uh, this becomes tricky when Mordecai, Esther's uncle, refuses to bow down to him. And at this point, in a fit of prejudice against the Jews, Haman decides, he decrees, he gets the king to decree that all the Jews are going to be killed. Um, so it's a pretty dire situation for the Jews. It's looking like mass um, genocide for them, really. Um, up steps Esther. And this is the point when Esther is going to have to act to save the Jews. Um, and actually, I'm going to cheat a bit take us back to chapter four, where Mordecai says to her, who knows if perhaps you were made queen for such a time as this. Um, God had positioned her there years ahead so that she was there ready to act, um, to speak up for her, her people. Um, but actually that wasn't a risk-free move for her. You know, we might think that she was quite powerful as the queen, um, but in actual fact, in Persian law, she was, um, she, it was against the law for her to approach the king unless he asked to see her. So she was positioned for influence, um, but it was a risky move for her to ask to see the king, to ask to have an audience with him, and more so to admit that she was a Jew. That was a big deal. Um, so that was a real step of faith for her to be willing to do that. Um, I was thinking about her and thinking what it is particularly that I learned from, from what she did. Um, and it's easy to see her as a heroic character, a heroine who, who stood up for her people. And she absolutely was. But I was quite struck by the fact that her situation was far from perfect. Um, she was living in this really morally corrupt situation. She was married to a Gentile. As a Jew, she's married to a Gentile. You know, it's a pretty messy situation. It's not great. Um, but yet, God was willing to use the faithfulness of even imperfect people like her and Mordecai um, to do um, what he needed to do. Um, he was able to work even in the mess of human life. Um, he achieved his plans as he had set out to do. Um, and it made me think about not discounting myself from being used because things are less than perfect in my life, a lot less than perfect. Um, but I want to be a bit like Esther and Mordecai. I want to take action when I need to. Um, what she did was she prayed and she fasted. She called the people to pray and to fast, and then she took action. She was confident that God would do his part. She was confident um, that God was faithful. She knew what he was like. She knew his character. She knew God was in control, but she still had to act. Um, have you, I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase that we should pray as if it all depended on God and act as if it all depended on us. It seems like a contradiction, but it's no good to sit back and do nothing. Um, but neither do we need to panic um, as though God hasn't got it all sorted. God has it sorted. He's trustworthy. 
He will save us. It's his job to save us. But we do need to play our part and step up to the mark when we need to.